Hi guys, uh, good morning and welcome back. Uh, so today we will try to uh, understand our market performance and uh, there are some good news uh, which which were coming from the US market and uh, uh, Japan market. So we will try to analyze those uh, results and those performance as well. Bef before going to that, let me give a disclaimer that the content we are discussing is only for educational purpose. It is not a buy or sell recommendation guys. So let us uh, jump into the market today. Uh, yesterday, if you look at our Indian market, it has opened positive only but uh, at the end of the session, it has lost all the uh, gains that it has made but like you know today uh, if you look at the american market it has closed Dow Jones has closed 0.76 percent positive and uh, if you look at the nasdaq also it has closed 1.03 percent uh, positive guys if you look at five days performance uh, yesterday also it's it started seeing some sort of a recovery but today also like you know it's saw some kind of a recovery guys so if you uh, look at the japanese market as of now it is trading 2.3 percent positive it has uh, opened gap down so then it started going up going up guys so there is some uh, if you look at the gift nifty also as of now it is uh, trading positive so which is indicating uh, the positive opening we can expect in our uh, market also as of now it is trading 0.78 percent positive so we can expect our market also uh, a gap up for a positive opening today so that is what the market if you look at uh, the fis and dis activity fis have sold uh, 3500 or 3500 crore in the uh, cash segment but at the same time uh, dis have bought three and three thousand three hundred and five five fifty seven crores in the cash market so let us quickly come back to the stock radar for today so state bank of india will be in focus because the government of india has approved the appointment of uh, challa srinivasalu shetty as the chairman of uh, spa for three years term so because of that it will be in focus then comes uh, suzla energy the company will acquire a 76 percent stake in uh, renome energy services from the uh, sanjay chadavath group in two or more tranches so in the first tranches it will acquire 50 percent of the stakes for the 400 crore and in the second tranches uh, in the second tranche, it will acquire the additional 25% stake in within 18 months for the first acquisition for the 260 crores. So then comes DR project will be in focus. The company has emerged as the uh, lowest bidder for establishment, establishing a transmission scheme for the integration of uh, Tumkur uh, in Karnataka. So let us quickly see the as it is a result season there are so many companies has announced its results so because of that those stocks will be also be in focus lupin will be in focus because profit surge is 77 percent and revenue raises 16 percent so then comes boss will be in focus because uh, profit grows 13 percent and revenue increases to 3.8 percent pb infotech profit starts at 60 crores and revenue surges to 52 percent so then comes uh, tata power company the profit declines 0.2 percent revenue increase 13.7 percent guys so then comes gujarat gas profit declines 19 percent and revenue grows 7.6 percent pi industries profit increases to 17 percent and revenue grows to 8.3 percent and gland pharma profit falls 26 percent and revenue raises 16 percent because of that all the stocks will be in focus there are so many companies are going to announce its results today as well those companies also will be in focus today in the today market session guys so let us uh, see how it, the market is going to open and uh, how the stock performance is going to be so we'll try to review the uh, stocks uh, which were in focus today in the evening session as well so thank you guys thank you so very much if you like my content please hit the like button and share and subscribe guys thank you thank you so very much